everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share some ways or some uh, tricks through which I'm trying to make it through this time. I know like doing makeup, fun, story time, this, that is all good, but we can't not focus on the fact that this is something which will affect our mental health is affecting our mental health of course there's a big uh, dialogue happening online right now with people having very vivid dreams uh, myself included so in relation to that I just wanted to talk about something that helped me have uh, good days or good weeks um, currently I was having a good week until today so one of the first reasons is to eat well um, I have been cooking a lot and I'm very thankful to the abundance of cooking videos online available right now because they help me think about what I want to eat because we're not craving anything right now. Tell me if it's the true, if it's the same with you. Like I don't know what to eat because I don't feel like eating anything because you're just stuck at home what to do, right? So I'm not craving food but when I see one of those videos or anything, I can't tell you how many days I've been excited to cook or I found like my agenda for the day when I look at a cooking video and I want to cook it. So very thankful to that. Luckily they all go well except for today when I've had such an... My breakfast was just such a fail. Then for lunch I basically had dessert because it's a Himachali dish which is basically sweet banana with a banana sweet curry with rice but it's so sweet so I just feel like bleh and I just don't feel good so I think eating well is important but does that does not mean that I'm avoiding snacks altogether I'm not avoiding snacking but I'm not doing it excessively when I feel like it I do but of course not excessively also speaking of eating well I think putting uh, the right nutrition and nutrients in your body is very important as well especially if we are living alone cooking alone and our supplies in the supermarkets are scarce uh, I really think for that not sponsored things like this are very important so this is from a brand called Teamy you can't see me <laughs> you can't see it but uh, this is a Teamy this is a new thing that they've launched it's a Teamy Restore it's an orange uh, citrus flavor supplement guys this is for a balanced body in mind okay this I'll tell you the in ingredients in this okay so this has citric acid this has uh, orange juice flavor stevia which is a natural plant that gives you sweetness and it has ginger root extract and turmeric root extract that's it it's it's supposed to give you a balanced body and mind and I'm <laughs> I'm being honest I just had an irritating um, I just had an irritated tantrum just now I got irritated because I couldn't find a movie online and it was not available on Netflix or Prime and I got so irritated and annoyed I was like I think I need to make a cup of this so I'm drinking it I was drinking it before starting to film the video and it's so delicious. It's actually so tasty. It energizes you and it does calm you. I love it. Mentally and physically working out. Again, I don't work up. Actually, let me be back. So this is my calendar, okay? And I write the days that I work out because I have nothing else to write in them. And if you can see, I work out on alternate days. But the last time I worked out was on the 15th and today is the 19th. I had a cramp in my leg and I did not want to aggravate it. I slept at 6 a.m. one night because I was playing games. So the next day I did not work out because I was not feeling like it. So I am listening to my body but I am working out and that helps me so much. I have not done an exercise since lockdown. Really, all I'm doing are dance workouts. My favorite channel to do that too is the Fitness Marshall. You won't even realize you've worked out and you've actually learned some dance moves. Like I'm more open to dancing now and I'm like, oh, let this quarantine be over and then I'm going to show you guys my moves. I have another channel called Mad Fit. She also does dances. She did a 2000s uh, dance mix, which is barely like five songs. So it's like a 15 minute thing. You do it twice done or else you just do it once. It's so good and fun. It's actually fun. This is basically an anti-stress coloring book and this has uh, these uh, photos printed on them and they are very detailed so you're supposed to paint them I'll show you my favorite one which is a zebra okay look at it it's so pretty right so I, I feel like I want to frame this at some point but um, yeah so I just try to be creative with the sky and whatnot like also look at this these are my food turtles I pasted food pictures on them even if you look at that, I made that with toilet paper rolls. Empty toilet paper rolls, I painted them and made a wreath. And while I'm doing this art, I love to listen to podcasts or audiobooks. Guys, only yesterday, 
I did not just scroll through my Instagram aimlessly or YouTube or whatever and I listened to my audiobook because honestly I strictly listen to it because I have to return it day after tomorrow and I had so many thoughts in my mind so many ideas I discussed it with my mom like you know hey do you think this have you noticed this so many because my mind was free to think so please make sure to give yourself time to think book recommendation um, essentialism that book really says that you should just kind of you know get the clutter away essential it's 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 a wonderful book i would highly recommend i listen to is my library so i just borrow from my library and i did not want the membership to go to waste so i was like okay let me try the audiobooks and i'm hooked uh because i was not a pro audiobook also uh if you're thinking about something just a random research about a topic here and there doesn't hurt like i did a research on human rights the other day and i wrote down all the human rights everything i read so many articles and that day felt so enriching for me so if you have any ideas if you think of something go ahead do a research if you always wonder i wonder how that happens go ahead research on it which is why i started this thing called fact of the day on my instagram i do it on my insta stories but don't worry i've made a highlight of it so you can still go back and watch it and you guys have given such an amazing response to it you're loving it uh make sure to post and share it in your story so that people get to know more about it but it's with the intention that even though you're scrolling instagram you feel like you learned something something goes in your mind and you're like huh let me research further on this and you can do something productive that day so one more thing second last thing i'm going to talk about is a gratitude journal you don't need to buy a journal just write something you're grateful for maybe first thing in the morning last thing in the day or when you feel irritated just write something you're thankful for it just helps you bring into perspective about things that are still good things that are still worth waiting for keeping your hopes up for and it really really helps i really like it i haven't written it in it in a while actually and since i was irritated like a minute ago i maybe i should do one entry about calling people or talking to people but not the regular ones you speak to every day so i speak to my family my brother almost like every day but the days when say i call my cousin or like a school friend or whatever it's just different because you are talking to a new person it's just i don't know it's just you of course speak to people whom you know is going to be a good time talking to them but talking to new people is really fun uh one more way in which i make sure that i see my people because sometimes you don't want to do video call you're awkward or you're doing something and along with that you want to do uh you want to talk to them what i do is i love doing those instagram challenges like gibberish challenge and all those things i do it with you on stories but i also send some of the funny uh, private ones uh just to my cousins just to my friends and i tell them to send me back their responses so this way we are seeing each other interacting with each other in a different way of course playing games with friends watching movies with friends is another like i did not used to do it earlier so for me it's a new experience helps me stay sane anyway it's getting hot i hope you can't see my upper lip sweat but it's upper lip sweat hot i'm going to go i hope you're having a wonderful day i hope this video makes you smile gives you ideas to uh help you make it through this time whatever you do just keep holding on make sure to subscribe below click the link in my bio to go to teeny You can use the code super25 to get 25% off. This is made and shipped from the US. I love their brand, they never disappoint. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.